Chris, thanks. 847, we're going to get to the bottom of some very serious questions this weekend, and it's all thanks to a very special squirrel. That's right. Pisgah Pete is a white squirrel who lives in Brevard, and on Saturday, he is going to show Puxatawney Phil that he is the smartest creature on the earth Just once again. Pin. Fox Carl and his Joe Gagnon has been keeping him warm this morning. Joe, Joe focus. Joe, we need you here. Listen, I asked you Sorry. earlier <laughs> who you thought, what you thought Pisgah Pete was going to do about his big decision, and you were talking about the Patriots versus the Rams, but I want to know, is he going to tell us we're in for a long winter or are we getting spring sooner? We don't know yet, Ashley. That is the magic of this Saturday. He still needs to do his research. He can't give any early predictions. And there he is, Piscopete himself, who is getting kind of sleepy, isn't is he, Jennifer? He's a little, he's like, you have been flashing these lights in my eyes all day. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, how special is uh, the white squirrel here in Brevard? It's a oh, big, big deal. Oh, it is, a, it is a really big deal. Yeah. There are colonies all around the country of white squirrels. Some of them are you know, totally white. Some of them are albino. Now, these are not albino, as you can see. They've got the dark eyes, right. and almost all of the ones around here have a little bit of, to a lot. Like Pete's got a lot of black on his head and the okay. and the saddle patch. But we've got about a thousand at last count. They do a, they do a count of the white squirrels uh, as often as they can, and uh, very scientifically, you know, figure it out. Yeah. Uh, and they are spreading. They're in, they're spreading around uh, into the surrounding counties as well. Wow, and, and what a beautiful animal. And what is it like living with, with Piscopi? It must be an incredible um, thing to have, but this is not something that most anyone else can have in their no, home. No, you have to have a license to be a rehabilitator, to look after orphaned and injured animals, mm -hmm. and to apply for a non-release permit, a captivity permit, you have to be a licensed rehabilitator. Pete was so badly injured that he could never survive in the wild, oh, wow. and he, he takes a lot of special care, has to have his teeth trimmed. Squirrel's teeth grow about four inches a year. And he, his, because he's missing one of his lower teeth, they don't line up, and so I have to trim them. And you have to monitor him carefully because he is a rodent, and if he gets out, he does want to taste everything and oh uh, chew gosh. on stuff. But let him run around and play. Yes, yeah. that is so sweet. And you get to head here on Saturday if you want to see the amazing White Squirrel Day inside the beautiful Blue Ridge Bakery, which has the most delicious treats. And Katina's with us, one of the wonderful owners. And Katina, what kind of cupcake is this? This looks this amazing. What's in it? Special Super Bowl cupcake. It's a Ooh. chocolate stout cupcake. <gasps> with a peanut butter nougat filling topped with a caramel frosting, some caramel drizzle, peanuts, chocolate, and topped with a little football. And you said I would love this because it's named after one of my favorite teams. So is the name of that the New England Patriot? No, it's not the New England Patriot. Is it the uh, Tom Brady? No, it's not the Tom Brady. Oh, what do you call it? Deflate Gate. Oh, <laughs> Oh, great. The deflate gate, of course. We'll send it back to you guys, <laughs> uh, even though it's making fun of my favorite team. Boom. It looks delicious, and I will be housing that delicious cupcake in just a bit. Well done. Well done, Katina. All right, Joe. <laughs> we'll talk okay, to thanks. you tomorrow. Thanks.